All right, so today we're working on flattening the other side of this live edge slab. I already did the other side, so I just flipped it over. I made one little light pass so far, but you'll see the way this rider sled works. Three and a quarter horsepower Makita router with one of these large bits. Uh, if you're looking for one of these, it's one and three quarter inch diameter bit, half inch shank, dual flute, made by a mana tool, works pretty well. I get an extra one here in case I need it. And in case you're wondering where we are, we are in my slab flattening room here at the shop. Um, so this is just my room here that I'm using for slat flattening slabs, which is nice because it keeps all the dust contained and I can shut the door and keep all the dust in here, which makes a huge mess and I can clean it up when I'm done, but you can see it just goes everywhere. Big mess. This is just from this one slab so far from one side. And then this is our retail shop, which I'm working on still finishing up, but we'll get there. It's in progress. Vapor barrier, some subflooring. I still have to finish that. I built this wall over here. Then this is the office area. So it's kind of a nice little area. But anyway, I'm going to get back to this flattening this slab. And I'm all dressed up and ready to go. So I'm going to put my camera up here on this slab here. And hopefully this will hold it well enough. I don't know. So you can actually watch what I'm doing or not. Hence why I haven't been doing these videos lately. <laughs> when I try to, it uh, tends to screw me up, slow me down. But I figured I'd try to share this with you if, if it's at all possible. We'll see if I have anything in here I can use. So. Hold this camera up. But yeah, and for anyone who wants to comment, no, I wasn't prepared to do a live stream. But I appreciate your input. I just figured I would share since I'm here and I just thought of it. And I was working, and people haven't seen videos from me in a little while. But yes, you're right. This is a terrible live stream and I wasn't prepared and all that good stuff. Let's see. I don't know how well this is going to sit. Yeah, that's not so pretty, is it? So yeah, I don't know. Uh, trying to... be nice if I could position it like this so you could see what I'm doing. Let's try this little coat rack thing. That's not bad. I might end up blocking the camera view as I'm going, but we'll try that. And hopefully the camera doesn't fall down because it's just held up on a couple of metal hooks. We'll see how it goes. Shut the door. Try putting it up here. See if that's any better. It's probably gonna fall. Let's do that. We'll put this room in behind it. That's not bad. We'll go with that. Huh? Oh, I put some dust on the camera. Ooh. It's trying to autofocus, but it is not going well. Oh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, come on, autofocus. Let's 
There we go. All right, so here's the router sled. You'll see how this works. Here's the slab. Let's work on getting this side flat.
All right, that's the second light pass that I made. Let's see. Anybody in the chat? No, okay. Anyway, I guess it's kind of boring video. Nobody wants to jump in and watch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep going on this slab. If nobody has any questions. Um, as you can see what I'm doing, just taking the sled, running it back and forth, running the router this way, and just flattening it down. Uh, so I have to keep going until I get to the point where I've at least taken a little bit off of the entire surface. So this way I can be sure it's completely flat. Uh, at some point I want to get a better respirator, um, better dust collection in here, which is going to be pretty tough because it's like I showed you in the beginning of this video, it creates a lot of this and it's all over the room. Uh, and on top of that, at some point here, I'd like to maybe hire somebody to fabricate this entire setup out of steel or aluminum or something um, other than wood. Because as most of you know, wood moves with moisture changes and all that. So this definitely does do that. And so I have to kind of wedge it and shim it to keep it flat. So anyway, I'm going to get back to this. Enough chat. More work.
Hey Hugh, thanks for stopping in. Anyone who stops in to say hi, give us a thumbs up. Sorry I got disconnected from the live stream. I'm not sure what happened. Um, busy working trying to get this slab flattened and done. So I'm not paying attention to the phone a whole lot. Sorry for that, but it is what I gotta do. If I spend too much time paying attention to the camera, I'm not gonna get this done. So. But that being said, I'm going to put this up here and see if this piece of wood helps keep things lined up. If that helps at all, we'll see, I guess. I don't know. It's not perfect, but you can see most of the slab here that I'm working on. I know when I'm down kind of like this, you're probably not seeing a whole lot, but... I figured for anyone interested and wondering what I'm doing and what I'm up to... I'd go live and just kind of show you what I'm doing. I know some people on here have left because I don't have regular recorded and edited videos, but those take a lot of hours. And now that I've gone back to work full time and I'm still trying to do this, I don't have a whole lot of hours to spare to edit. So at least I can share my content by doing these live streams, which I don't have to edit, of course. So anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Enough chatting.
<sighs> well, still got a lot of wood to take off. It's a lot of wood to take off. Hey everyone. Did I miss some chatting? I'll take my glove off here. I won't be taking my dust mask or glasses off though. This room is pretty full of dust. Okay, my touch screen isn't working. I can't see the chat, sorry guys. My camera won't let me do it. But anyway, hope you're liking the video. <laughs> I guess, looks like a couple more passes left to make. You look like an alien. Oh, I saw that. Oh, and then the chat went away. Now I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I touched the screen and the chat's supposed to come up, but it's not. Anywho. Oh, wait. There we go. Now I got it. Pays to have a solid router. Yeah. Hey, Grizz. How's it going? Not loading first. Oh, okay. So I already saw that. When you have time, maybe this evening or tomorrow, my cell phone is good internet and a laptop key. Good internet laptop keeps getting disconnected. I do look like an alien. Ah! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to see how much more material I have. Try the Steam Streamlab app on your phone. Chat is awesome. Yeah, I might do that next time. I'm going to try to get this one down though. All right, looks like I got about another eighth of an inch or so of material left to take off. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot. Yeah, probably a little more than an eighth of an inch to take off. Because this side here where it hasn't touched yet is a lot lower than over here. So I still have a lot of material left. I'll end up with about an inch and a half thick slab when I'm done. Nice slab. It would be great to get some big hardwood in Alaska. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this was a huge maple tree. It was uh, about 50 inches wide when I started. I trimmed it. I think it's about three feet, a little over three feet wide now. Um, I cut it down to 64 inches long because that's what they need for their countertop. And when I'm done, it'll be about an inch and a half thick. But as far as the thickness goes when it comes to slabs, um, the only person who can kind of control that is the person who cuts it off the log initially because if you cut them too thin, you know, a lot of people who mill logs, they'll still haven't got my mill uncrated, but being a caregiver, I'm going to set back. Yeah, sorry to hear about that, but... Let us know how it goes. I'll take it. So, yeah, like I was saying, when it comes to one of the things I learned about uh, getting your finish thickness on a slab, it's really important when you're milling it or buying a slab um, that you get one that's got enough extra meat that when it's flattened, you'll end up with the thickness that you want. Uh, by the way, I see three people here. One thumbs up. If you guys could balance that out for me, that'd be awesome. I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that button and the bell. And uh, when I put out more videos like this and make weird sign language, you'll be able to see it. Oh, your slab. Yeah, I got a lot more. <laughs> uh, but when you're milling a slab, uh, the way I look at it, I always like to have an extra half inch thickness on the slab. Um for flattening it because you always end up you know I, I talk to a lot of people who mill and you know they'll be like oh i like to mill two inches thick because that seems what people want but what you have to do is if you are dealing with people and customers and trying to educate people um try to mill them a little thicker and then when they come and they're like i need a two inch thick slab 
usually when they say that they're looking for a finished slab that's that thick so make sure you let them know you know I would buy two and a half inches you're gonna lose a half inch when you're flattening it and sanding it get it a little bit thicker this way when you're done you can work it down to the two inches I know it sounds like a lot to work a half an inch off of a piece of wood um, but especially when they're this wide because with the cupping and twisting you lose a lot of material um, maybe more narrow ones it's not so much of a big deal maybe a quarter of an inch but you definitely want to compensate for drying and for finishing so you, you definitely will lose a half an inch or so roughly depending on the wood and the width and thickness and all that but you know rough idea for me i always like to leave an extra half inch on there if somebody wants two inches thick finished i'll mill it or two and a half inches like i have one that i milled for a bar top i milled that three inches thick because they want a two and a half inch finished slab and it's pine so i can i could shave that off with this router no problem so if if it's flat and i still have two and three quarter inches i can take a quarter of an inch off with this pretty easily uh on pine so you just kind of take it case by case and uh you'll figure it out if you have any questions you know how to find me i don't know everything but i'll try to tell you what i do know and i do know that i don't know everything Give it another go. Uh, I'm gonna try to split the difference here. All right, this might be a little aggressive. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro.
Well, that's a messy job. We gotta take a break from this. Almost done though. Let's see, what did I miss in chat? Anything? Oh, okay, here we go. Grizz says, when I was in Alaska, it was mainly pecker poles. Still haven't got my mill uncrated. Oh yeah, I saw that. Well, hopefully you can get it uncrated soon. I'm gonna flip this camera over. Uh, otherwise I'm gonna touch the wrong button here. I bet dark birch will turn out beautiful. So this is actually, uh, well, I don't know if somebody else was saying they had dark birch. I gotta take this off, this hurts. I'm gonna go out here where it's not as dusty for a minute. Woo. Oh, gotta take a break. 
<sighs> nice warm day out. The snow is melting. Ryan's here hanging out. Let's see. Biggest is about 24 inch, but very nice rough edge tables and countertops. 24 inches is a, a good uh, a good width, I think. Anyway, start getting bigger, it's a lot to handle. Does look like a rose on the ends of the log. Oh, yep. I'm really into woodwork and have been a subscriber here for a while. Oh, I appreciate it, James, if you're still here. I'm trying to get caught up on the chat. But yeah, I definitely appreciate that. I know I haven't had a lot of videos out lately. Ooh, that was pretty tight, wasn't it? I wonder if my head hurts. Ah, the wood smells good? It's actually, a, is it dusty in here now that I did that? No. It's a little foggy, but maybe it's a little dark. Uh, let's see. Uh, I gotta get to cutting up these logs for firewood. Woodshed is getting low. Catch y'all later. Hey, later, Grizz. Thanks for stopping in if you're still here. Oh, and James, make videos. There's always room for one more Sawyer and woodworker on YouTube. Absolutely. Awesome. I'm working on the trailer now. God willing, I'll be getting after it soon. I've kept my pad clear. Thanks for the show. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going and keep the live stream going for the rest of this. Um, let me just show you what's really left. So you can really see there's not much left to it. This little corner here. I mean, I have to I have to route over the whole thing again to get it down to this level, uh, to this thickness here, so I can get this flat with that. But this is all that I have left to go. So another sixteenth of an inch or so off of this whole top, and it'll be it should be all flat on that side. The other side, I think I'm going to need to make one more pass on, depending on which side the customer wants to use for the top. If they want to use the other side, I'm going to have to make another pass on that. That'll bring the slab somewhere around an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half for a final thickness. But I'd say it's uh, coming out pretty good so far, and this room's working out great. So as you can see, it's on this far end of the shop, and I still got my tarp wall up there. So I'm going to be building that wall around there. There's a stairs that go upstairs, so we have a lot more storage up there as well. But Ryan's hanging out here by the heater, staying warm. I'm going to turn that down, actually. I don't think we even need it on anymore because we're going to be leaving shortly. And I don't see it cooling off in here a whole lot because it's fairly warm out for January. Right, Ryan? So I'll look at that in a little bit, okay? Yeah, no, I was just coming in here. So that's where we're at. This other slab up here I need to get flattened, but I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I'm probably flatten that next weekend. Um, this one is just about 100% flat. Um, I might have to take one more pass on this, but I think I'm going to take a break before I do. Um, I don't know if there's only a couple people on here watching. I'll say if anyone has any questions or anything, but. I don't usually get a whole lot of people joining on my live streams. And unfortunately, that's the only kind of videos I'm, I am really have time for at this point. But, whoop, sorry for shaking the camera. But hopefully at some point again, I'll eventually get back to regular videos. But for now, this is what I get time for. So I figured I'll at least do these so you guys can see what I've been up to. Because I know I've had some people comment and send messages wondering where we're at. So anyway, um, hey, it looks like it's been exactly an hour. Um, not bad progress usually takes about an hour per side to get a slab like this done uh, and flat at least then another hour per side of sanding um, at least a couple hours worth of uh, applying finish this one I'm gonna have to fill the voids at the end or all the voids on here with epoxy and I may or may not put a bow tie in it depending on how much time I have left on the work that I'm doing um, but yeah, and you can see the mess that it makes. This slab is um, still almost two inches thick, and 
the shavings on this table this is a, probably about six or seven inches wide cavity here you can see this is just from the pass that you saw me make in the past hour <laughs> and then you can see the floor is covered there's probably two or three inches of shavings on the floor it makes a big mess so if you're ever going to go do this be prepared i wasn't my shop at home turned out to be a wicked mess which is why i was really happy to bring this here into this enclosed room where i only flatten and sand flabs in there so it just contains all the dust and shavings so anyway i'm gonna hang it up on this one um if you guys have any questions um comments that sort of thing throw them down in the comment section below um and i'll try to do another live stream as i work on this slab and finish it up um but if i don't i'll post some pictures up on instagram and facebook uh, you can check us out on instagram and facebook at dylan's woodworks we will check you all later have a good day. Blah.